all right folks we know why you're here you want to buy this xiaomi mi notebook pro 14 just before you make that purchase please watch this video this machine has some serious issues we are going to be reviewing this in a very short format i've made a list of these eight key points grounds on which we're going to be reviewing this stay tuned all right starting with the first which is the build the most important the build of this machine is quite good if you see it's all metal both front back all made out of one alloy uh, the work is done by cnc machine it's really sturdy you can lift this with just your thumb that that can be done uh, very satisfying to close the lid you do listen to this i would do that again yeah so the belt is really good but built comparison with macbook we'll get back to that in a second because the overall build i don't know how but it makes the laptop feel quite heavy not uh, a good comparison with macbook macbook air uh, in particular that that feels really light this feels heavy for sure heavy although this is only a 1.4 kg machine so yeah good build there's a fingerprint scanner everything looks good the build quality no complaints next we come to the performance well the performance of this machine i don't know what do you want to compare it with if you are in the price bracket of say 50 to 60 thousand there are so many gaming computers also out there which you can buy if you're comparing this with macbook m1 this fades away like this is not even close if you want to compare this with other uh, you know laptops which are by big manufacturers uh, of the say, same uh, say specifications so yeah you save on those 10 15 thousands but um, the performance is average it's very average the four core uh, machine four core is i i think it's way too less in uh, today's times so i don't uh, recommend this to any heavy user this is a very very basic machine when it comes to performance uh, general performance is what we just spoke about let's speak about the gaming performance gaming performance really sucks it really really is very bad like i i tried playing fortnite on this I, i'll just show you okay so there it is this is the epic launcher i launched fortnite this would also give you an idea on how much time it really takes to launch Fortnite. Fortnite is a very basic game by the way. It's not a very extreme uh, AAA title. It is a AAA title but not that very uh, heavy game that uh, one would want to play on this. I saw a lot of reviews wherein people were showing how you can play CSGO, uh, Valorant, all of those games. Uh, I don't know how. This is not a gaming PC. So if you want to game on this, just stay away. By the way, this is taking way too long to load. Uh, again, a very honest, you know, review wherein you can see the time it takes to just load a basic game. So not a very good performance machine because loading the game does not really require the GPU. The GPU's job would start now and it's still not there. I don't know. Yeah, just spoke about the performance. All right, so while it takes its own course of time to load Fortnite. Yeah, it's doing that now. Still not there. My God. Yeah, so there it is. Okay, it got back to, oh, sorry. It got back to the Epic Launcher. Fortnite is here. Still not loaded. See, I'm clicking on this. Yeah, Fortnite still not loading. Could be a Fortnite issue. Don't think so because I'm. I was playing Fortnite in the background. If you just see, yeah, there. I was playing Fortnite in the background. <sighs> Ages.
there some issue still it's loaded in the quarter part of the screen why i don't know still not started Okay, there's something seriously wrong. It is asking me if it automatically should set the system as per my system's specifications. Now, nah. still not working. Okay, so finally the game is loaded. I'll try to set the standard parameter so that this becomes playable. Okay, there's something seriously wrong with this. Anyways, I'll just close it. Even if it does work, I'm telling you the FPS would be so bad, it, it's not playable at all. So what's the point of just running a game when you can't really play it? it? All of these games in today's age are very competitive. Everyone is playing on high spec PC. So you can't be playing on a machine which hardly gives you some 30 FPS, 30, 35. So yeah, I'll just close this. Okay, not even closing. All right. Opening the task manager. Now, ending Fortnite. Consuming 91% of the memory. Oh, by the way, this is uh, the 8 GB variant. So the memory is full. I don't know you can see it the memory is full gpu is utilized to 62 percent yeah go for the 16 gb at least if you really want to buy this although my recommendation not to buy okay coming to the next point speakers a lot of review reviewers have spoken about the speakers of this machine they say that the speakers are really bad I have a different opinion here. The speakers are not that bad. Speakers are very well uh, usable. I'll play a YouTube video. There you go. So speakers are fine you can uh, watch your general content on this netflix works fine speakers are good talking of the display now the display is surprisingly good the display is really good but there is a major issue with uh, my specific piece that i would talk in a bit that is the most important part of a laptop so yeah <clears throat> so the display in general is good if you purchase in this, you would get good display. Talking about the weight of the machine, the weight is, I don't know, it's just 1.4 kg that it feels really heavy. No idea why, but it feels really, really heavy. Okay, next is uh, the comparison with MacBook Air M1. Well, there are so many videos already there. You can see those videos. There are lo lots of lots of comparisons already made. I'll just say it bluntly not comparable this is not a macbook saying it a windows macbook no macbook is next level it's a different quality this is trying to imitate a macbook this can never be a macbook macbook feels much better feels lighter never hangs has a much better you know a software to hardware integration like it's it's it syncs really well with the hardware of macbook this just doesn't do the job this is absolutely the opposite of it now 
coming to uh, the last uh, point why i thought of even making this video in the first place the qa the qa of xiaomi okay so i'll just show you this laptop when i got this had a spot i don't know how well can you see it it's it's right there the display has a spot there yeah i guess it's visible now i think so there there yeah it is it is visible how how show me how how can a manufacturer ship a machine with such quality issues now thankfully i had bought this uh from an online seller which would take this back but still so disappointing right a very very disappointing so what exactly is the quality assurance of xiaomi for its laptop this can have any issue at any time in my opinion this can hang at any point of time this can have some spot built on the display later this can have a manufacturing defect so one has to be really cautious of uh, buying a machine which is not the case with macbook so yeah make a very wise choice this machine does not cost any less uh for the price at which they are offering there are so many options i would really um, suggest going for asus asus has really lightweight machines the zenbook is really good i saw it uh, you know getting listed at around 70000 that's a much much better choice than spending you know 60 50000 on uh, such such a disappointing product uh that you know it is uh, definitely thought by xiaomi you know in in a way that they did put in some effort in terms of the display the build um putting in the latest specification as per their own limits but overall as a user this does not just satisfy me the qa once again there i don't know how but it's just there you still want to buy it buy it i would not recommend to me this machine is going to back for sure so that's about it i think you would make a good choice now i'll catch you in a, the next video in case if i make one bye